Okay, let's today start with our first question based on accounting standard 11. Okay, so here's the question on screen. S Limited of Mumbai sold goods worth 10 lakh dollars. Okay, to B Limited of America on 1st, 31st January 2014, amounts received B Limited as follows. Okay, so what has happened? S has sold goods to B, who is in US. Okay. Yeah. And what was the date? 31st January 2014. Right? Let me take you to just a minute. So the date how the money will be received, this 10 lakh dollars, this 10 lakh dollars will be received as, see, you can check here, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 5, so this total makes it to 10 lakhs, okay? So this 10 lakh, you will receive in three installments. The first receive date is 1st Feb, the second receive date is 1st March, and the fourth the third received date is 30th March. Okay. Am I clear about this? So this 10 lakhs rupees you will receive in three installments. Right? Yeah. Accounts are closed on 31st March every year. Bola hai. Uh, and exchange rates of $1 is given to you. So on 31st January exchange rate was 61 rupees. On 1st Feb it was 60 rupees. 1st March it was 62 rupees. And 30th March, it was 58 rupees. Okay, so do remember these exchange rates. And don't forget yeah, ki aapka transaction ka hua hai, 31st January ko hua hai. Okay, so 31st January ko kya rate pe aapne fix kiya tha? 61 rupees pe fix kiya tha. Okay, so us din, 31st January ko, jis din aapne goods sold kiya, B ko, us din 1 US dollar kitna tha? 61 rupees tha. Okay, and based on these, now we have fluctuations. Okay, yeah. So, past journal entries in the books of S Limited for the year ended 31st March 2014. Okay. So, now, don't forget, you have to pass journal entries in the books of S. Or S ne kya kiya hai? S ne goods sold kiya hai. Or usko badle mein kya milega? Paisa milega. Okay. Or jo bhi fluctuations hai foreign exchange currency mein, that will either be debited or credited depending on the situation, whether it is profit or loss. Okay. So let's start. Yeah. So this is the first journal entry for entry for exporting goods because sale of goods were right. And the date is 31st March 2014. Okay. So goods have been sold to Mr. B. So party account debit. The journal entry is what? Party account debit. So who's the party? B limited is the party. So, write his name to sales or you can write to exports account. Okay. So, how will you calculate this? Apne kitne ka sale kiya hai? 10 lakh dollars ka. Barabar. Aur us din exchange rate kitna tha? 61 rupees tha. So, 6 crore 10 lakhs is your value. Okay. And narration mein what you will write? Being goods worth 10, 10 lakhs dollars exported to B limited and exchange rate 1 rupee. 1 US dollar equal to 61 rupees. Okay. So, this is the uh, this is the manner in which you are going to write your narration. Okay. What will you highlight in the narration? That 10, 10 lakhs ka goods have been exported and the exchange rate on that particular day was 1 US dollar equal to 61 rupees. Okay. So, I hope the first journal entry is clear to everyone. Next. Next paisa tumko kab mil raha hai? Yeah. Ye wala? Yeah. Iska paisa kab mil raha hai tumko? First Feb ko paisa mil raha hai, right? Or first Feb ko exchange rate kitna hai? Yeah, kitna hai? 60 rupees. Barabar? Jis din deal kya tha, us din 61 tha. To ab jis din tumko paisa milne wala hai, us din tumhe 60 rupees milne wala hai. Matlab tumko 1 rupee ka loss ho gaya. Okay? So, wo loss aapko record karna hai. Thik hai? So, Come to the second journal entry. So, this is my first journal entry. This is my second journal entry on 1st Feb 2014. Okay. So, money is coming in to bank account debit. Okay. Yeah. How much? 4 lakhs dollars 
and that day the rate was 60 rupees so 2 lakh 2 crores 40 lakhs theek hai yeah aur 1 rupaye ka nuksan hua hai mujhe for every dollar 1 rupaye ka mujhe nuksan hua hai barabar to uska recording bhi mujhe karna padega it's a loss okay so i have to record my loss also okay yeah just a minute so it's a loss so i have to record my loss so how am i going to record my loss ha huh. how many dollars 4 lakh 4 lakh dollars multiplied with 1 rupee ka loss so 4 lakhs ka loss why mujhe which i will transfer as per as11 to fef account right foreign exchange fluctuation account okay to b limited okay b limited how much it will be 4 lakhs yeah multiplied with 61 correct because deal to 61 ki hui thi na so 4 lakhs into 61 22 crore 44 lakhs okay so i hope the second part is also clear to everyone and narration may you will write being money received or being cash received from b limited exchange rate difference 1 rupee yes 1 dollar equal to 1 rupee and transferred to fef account okay so this is the style of narration this is the manner in which the narration is written okay just a minute let me add something to this yeah I will just show the narration part once again to you for the journal entry number two. Yeah. So, yeah. Being money received. Being money received from B Limited, exchange rate difference, one dollar equal to one rupee and transfer and difference transfer to FAF account or you can write and transfer to FAF account. Okay. Or you can write transfer loss to FAF account. Like this. Okay, to be more specific, being money received from B Limited, comma exchange rate difference one dollar equal to one rupee and loss transferred to FEF account. Okay, then next pesa आपको कब मिल रहा है? First March को मिल रहा है, correct? कितना मिल रहा है? Yeah, one lakh. Yeah, one lakh. This part, one lakh, and the exchange rate is. 60. No, not 60. It is 62. Haan. 62 mil raha hai apko. Right? So, either apko bhi jada mil raha hai. Mera bar na? Haan. 61 pe deal wa tha. Aur abhi apka deal kitte pe ja raha hai? Sixty one ka deal abhi 62 pe ja raha hai. Correct? So, ek rupya apko zada mil raha hai. So, good na? So, it is profit for you. Okay, one rupee profit for you. And in the third case, it is 58 rupees. So, aapko three rupees kam mil raha hai. So, yaha three rupees ka loss ho raha hai. Okay, like this. So, journal entry number three. Yeah. Journal entry number three will be for, yeah. First March. How much you are receiving? 1 lakh. Right? 1 lakh dollars. And the rate that day is 62. So, six, yeah, 62 lakhs. And here is profit. Hua hai aapko, correct? So, wo profit you have record. Karna hai, right? Yeah. So, 1 lakh into 1 rupee is 1 lakh. And B limited, 1 lakh into deal kitne mein hui thi 61 lakhs okay yeah so both of these yeah dekho 61 plus 1 lakh is 62 lakhs aur aapka debit side bhi 62 hai credit bhi 62 hai obviously so it is correct 
ठीक है तो इसका नरेशन क्या होगा बींग मनी रिसीव या बींग मनी रिसीव फ्रॉम बी लिमिटेड फ्रॉम बी लिमिटेड एंड फॉरेन एक्सचेंज डिफरेंस रेट वन डॉलर इक्वल टू वन रुपी ट्रांसफर टू एफ एफ अकाउंट और यू कैन राइट प्रॉफिट ट्रांसफर टू एफ एफ अकाउंट ठीक है बींग मनी रिसीव फ्रॉम बी लिमिटेड और एक्सचेंज रेट डिफरेंस वन डॉलर इक्वल टू वन रुपी and transfer to FEF account. Then the last one, thirtieth March. Okay, how much are you receiving? Yeah, five lakh US five lakh dollars into that day the rate is fifty eight. So two crore ninety lakhs. Or you have got three rupees ka loss hua hai. So five lakhs into three rupees. So fifteen lakhs. Okay, and B limited, it will be five lakhs into the deal was at sixty one, so three crore five lakhs. Okay, as I said, your debit total should be equal to your credit total. Okay, being money received from B limited, exchange rate difference one US dollar equal to three rupees. ये लॉस है एंड ट्रांसफर टू एफ एफ अकाउंट और यू कैन राइट एंड लॉस ट्रांसफर टू एफ एफ अकाउंट ऐसा भी लिख सकते हो ठीक है सिमिलरली इसके लिए भी लिख सकते हो बीइंग मनी रिसीव फ्रॉम बी लिमिटेड फॉर फॉरेन फॉर फॉर एक्सचेंज रेट डिफरेंस ओके एंड प्रॉफिट ट्रांसफर टू एफ एफ अकाउंट ओके ठीक है एक बार ये हो गया फिर उसके बाद हाँ ए एस इलेवन क्या बोलता है कि आपका जो एफ एफ अकाउंट है उसको क्या करना है आपको हाँ उसका जो लॉस है या प्रॉफिट है वो आपको पी एन एल में डालना है राइट या सो वंस यू आर डन विद दिस या यू शुड प्रिपेयर अ लेजर ओके तो ये जो लास्ट जर्नल एंट्री है तो देर आर हाउ मेनी जर्नल एंट्रीज इन दिस सम जस्ट इट so that was journal entry number 1 okay this was journal entry number 1 journal entry number 2 then just a minute journal entry number 3 okay then journal entry number 4 for the last one hmm journal entry number 4 this and journal entry number 5 which you will get from fef account ye wala last wala ye okay ye aapko tab milega jab aap fef account banaoge theek hai so whatever uh, journal entries you have passed uska posting you have to do it in fef ledger okay so you have to pass this journal I mean, you have to post the three entries in the book. This way, FEF account for the first transaction, then for the second, and for the third. Three payments were, na? One me loss was the first wale me, second wale me profit was the third payment me, wapis loss was the. Okay, so when you close this ledger. So debit side total is four plus fifteen. That is nineteen lakhs minus credit side total one lakh. So my final answer is eighteen lakhs. Okay, yeah. So difference you have to transfer to P and L account as per AS eleven. Okay, by the at the end of the year when you close your F E F account, the ledger difference has to go to P and L account. So my journal entry क्या बनेगा P 
PNL account debit to FEF account. Okay? Yeah. ये मैं आपको बता रही थी तभी लास्ट जो मैंने लेक्चर में बोला था ना ये आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ओके या तो आपका डिफरेंस ये आएगा पी एन एल टू एफ ई एफ या तो एफ ई एफ टू पी एन एल ओके और आईदर ऑफ दन नॉट बूथ फाइन ओके सो आई होप द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सम इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन ओके या सो this is the complete view of the sum okay so we'll discuss the next question in the next video